Ah, oh, it's one of those games. Oh, whoops, I left the mic on. You heard me get up and sit down again. It's one of those games that doesn't keep playing the sound when you jump out of it. Welcome, guys. We're going to check out The Whispered World. I was going to stream this a couple of weeks ago. But the audio is a bit crap when you're in game. And I was like, ah, oh, I don't want to do it. But I played it for a bit yesterday. And I was like, nah, I'm just going to do it anyway. Just push through the crappy audio. And if anyone knows how to fix the audio, please tell me. Why is the game in such a small window? Hang on, let me see if I can change that. Oh, I think I don't think I can do it. This one? How do I resize that? I don't know how to resize that. You're going to see it in a small window. Great. Yes, let's start a new game. It may make you sad to hear it, but this is the last story I'm going to tell you. I know you like to hear funny stories with jolly people and a happy end, but I don't have the strength for that anymore. What difference would it make if I lied to you? Well, my last story takes place in a land far away, a land that is about to die. It begins in the autumn forest. This is the story of Sadwick, the sorrowful clown. Sadwick is sleeping uneasily, like every night. And he doesn't even know that he'll destroy the world in the course of just a few days. What a nightmare. Every night it's the same. I can hardly remember the last time I had a decent night's sleep. Spot? Where could Spot be? He usually comes to see me in the morning. Yeah, we don't want to play the tutorial. Alright. So this is the Whispered World. And apparently Spot is missing. Got a torn note. Hmm, what was that note again? Ah yes, I remember now. It's where Ben sketched out how the human cannibal act is supposed to work. It's so unfair. 
He can even draw better than me. That's supposed to be me. Ben didn't get the fearful expression on my face right, though. The most important thing is a solid barrel for the cannon. After all, the cannoneer shouldn't be harmed when he blows me sky high. The plug is attached to the mouth of the barrel. It's the only way to get enough pressure to blow me hundreds of yards into the air. <sighs> oh boy, how I oh, hate this so act. Muffled. A parachute should provide a safe landing. Then there's nothing to worry about, is there? <laughs> a small bomb or some gunpowder are sufficient. Just load the cannon and light the fuse. Everything else will turn out fine. Seriously, that's what it says. Everything else will turn out fine. <laughs> I can't believe this is real. <laughs> Our old stove. The handle is broken off. In order to light a fire, it has to be open first. Too bad the handle has broken off. That's no use. The handle is broken off. Ah, yes. A broken stovepipe. Quite funny how the mind works. Since the handle broke, I made a fuss about how cold it is. Forgetting how I always complained about the smoke before. <laughs> if only my arm was longer and thinner and it had two more elbows, then I could reach in and open the stove from the inside. Bobbles, ruffs, small bells. <sighs> I'd be less embarrassed wearing a potato sack. I can't reach it. That's too bad. Our circus costumes are spittle repellent. That's quite important, especially when you play the bigger towns. Spittle repellent. Ben told me this kind of candle burns indefinitely. I say it's just pretending. Small flame of hope. For what noble cause do you fight so courageously? And yet, eventually, finally, terminally, even you will extinguish. Ouch! Oh, damn. This is going to blister. Why do I have to be so clumsy? Wait, what? Yeah, see, the sound is okay on the... But what happened while I was... This rock reminds me of one of the most basic principles of life. No matter what you have accomplished, no matter how big your paws or how sharp your teeth are, you can still end up being a doormat for a band of circus clowns. <sighs> while I was playing this, I got to a certain part of it where his voice was okay. So there's something weird about the game, I think. I don't think it's... I... Uh, I thought it was hello? Are you really dead? Or are you just taking a nap? But I don't know how to you can't it. be sure enough with this kind of thing. Aha! Uh -huh. Ben must have hidden it here. He only does that to annoy me. He knows very well I just hate pointed teeth. I could lose a hand if I reach into there. Stay where you are! I'm coming to save you! On second thought, uh, maybe I'll just get some help. Ah, oh, shoot. I'm such a terrible coward. Ah! Oh boy, that was close. And we'll pay for this. I could have croaked. I could have croaked. It's depressing. I hardly own anything. Everything I have fits into this drawer. I have a deal with Ben. He doesn't spit into my drawer anymore, and I refrain from painting his rubber nose black. Wait, what? There's only that stupid note in there. Ben made me write down all my chores. Pure harassment, if you ask me. <sighs> ah, what the heck? I'd better collect the note anyway. Maybe I'll find a fire somewhere. Maybe I'll find a fire. 
So we got a key and a note. Friend has given me a lot of tedious chores for today. <sighs> Why did I even bother to get out of bed? Watch the sunrise? How is that a chore? Look for an audience. Rehearse, rehearse him and Cannibal. Watch Bruno clean up trailer. Bedtime. I'll burp in the alphabet. Why do I have to practice burping the alphabet? Oh, I should have checked the door. Ben likes to leave his door open when the weather is fine. Like he'd never even heard of scorpions. Of Hello? Scorpions. If there's somebody hiding behind this door, there's a suggestion I want to make. Uh, don't jump out like a jack-in-the-box and I won't pretend I'm not scared. Deal? Okay. We have a deal. Pretend, yes. Sadwick! Are you awake? Come here at once! The day's already wasting away! Ha! <sighs> right. Another happy day in the colorful world of the circus. The circus? Spot! Don't just lie around like that. What's wrong with you? What do you think's wrong with him? Maybe he's sick. The plague. Or food poisoning. Don't talk such nonsense. Worm fungus? Blue pox? It could be anything. He's thirsty, Sadwick. That's what happens if you don't carry out your chores properly. Spot can take it. He's tough. You've got a lot to learn. Caterpillars don't grow very old. Not if you treat them like this anyway. You'd better get used to the idea. You're just saying that to annoy me. I'm serious. You better give him something to drink. Yeah, whatever, Ben. Come on. Let's go, Spot. We'll get you something to drink. And after that, maybe we can finally do something useful. That's my brother, Ben. I'll never be able to juggle as good as him. And he keeps telling me that. Over and over again. Can I try? You wanna juggle? Ha! Huh. You'd drop your nose if it wasn't attached to your face. Juggling is something for men of action, not for brooding types like you. Wow, rude. Hi, Ben. Hi, sleepyhead. How often do I have to tell you? Rehearsals start at sunrise. It's not my fault. I slept very badly last night. Slept badly? What's that supposed to mean? Not those nightmares again. They're not ordinary nightmares. They always feel so real. The earthquake, the craggy rocks. Good heavens, Sadwick. Now pull yourself together. You're a clown, a jester. An entertainer! You're supposed to make people happy! Not depressed? When's our next performance? Ah, uh, who knows? This stretch of land is just as deserted as all the others we recently passed through. People are leaving the land. They fear the end of the world. Can't someone else play the clown? And what do you want to do instead? <laughs> Lion taming? <laughs> just face it, Sadwick. You're not talented enough for the big acts. You can't juggle. You can't throw. You can't even perform your human cannonball act properly. I'm just fed up with honking noses and farting sounds. Why can't we provide high-class entertainment instead? <laughs> and what would that be? How about theater? Ah. Theater? Nobody understands those pompous blowhards. Do you know why people love the circus? Because they don't have to think too hard. Ah, I get it. If somebody is in search of a real knucklehead, he can come straight to me and... His search is over. Hey, wait a second. All right, all right. The theater idea is off, but... I've written a couple of poems. Oh, please. Spare me your poems. Believe me. Nobody needs your cerebral whining. I sneak to the mirror in the darkest of night. I stare at my image and just see the clown. The louder he laughs, the harder I fight. Oh, sinister world full of hardship and frowns. Well, Sadwick, that's exactly why 
Nobody likes you. If you really must write poems, why not some funny limericks? Limericks? There once was a young circus clown who imagined the sky falling down. He imagined so bad that it made him quite sad. On his face, he wore always a frown. <laughs> okay, no poems then. But how about philosophy? What kind of thing? What could be more entertaining than getting to grips with the very nature of existence? Not getting to grips with it. Do you have more of those terrific ideas? I'd like to do something intelligent is all. Listen, we make good money without producing anything. What could possibly be more intelligent? Without producing anything. You're right. The circus is the only worthwhile form of entertainment. Spare me your sarcasm. Nobody likes that kind of humor. Now, go and practice your burping alphabet. Okay. Or the human cannonball act. No. My nightmares must mean something. Nonsense. Dreams are for losers. The same with your books and your poems. It's time you got a grip on reality. The serious side of life. Does that ring any bells? Hmm. <clears throat> you mean colorful balls and makeup? Geez, Sadwick. You're a real pain. You need to wake up and be productive. Is there anything I can do? Don't tell me you forgot your chores again. I even wrote them down for you. Oh, those. Uh, that's not what I meant. I'd like to do something more important with my time. Something meaningful. Not this depressing day-to-day -day routine. The sooner you do what you're supposed to, the sooner you can... Hey! Don't you roll your eyes like that, young man. Responsibility is still responsibility. You could start by giving Spot something to drink. See you. Yep, see you. And don't forget, keep smiling. You're a clown. Remember? <sighs> Hang on a sec, guys. Just gotta put the chat back on top. What about this old dude? What's he doing? Grandpa looks even older than usual today. This chair's rocking days are long over. Ah, uh, hello, Grandpa. Oh, hello, Ben. You look different. Is, is that a new hat you're wearing? I'm not Ben, Grandpa. I know, Ben. <laughs> they don't make hats like they used to anymore. I'm Sadwick. When I was a little clown, we used to wear real hats with big, firm bubbles. Sadwick. Your grandson. I could knock out a full-grown ox with my bubbles. <sighs> I know yeah, that down. poor animal. But that's the way people liked their hats back then. Now, what can I do for you, Ben? I wish you wouldn't always mistake me for Ben. I know. <laughs> the world is a veil of tears when you're young. Everybody's against you. But there are worse things than tight hats and pinching shirt sleeves, you know. I'm paying close attention to your words of wisdom, like always. When you're old, there are tight pains and pinching pantaloons, too. And this, my boy, is the most important lesson to take into old age. Loose-fitting pantaloons are the most loyal friends you could ever ask for. Heavens, did he manage to bring his pantaloons into the conversation again? I had one of those terrible nightmares again. There's a cute saying I remember from my boyhood on that very subject. <laughs> What was it? I forgot. You mean the old saying, dreams are ten a penny? What? That's nonsense. Dreams are not ten a penny. I once knew a guy who, who sold dreams at considerably higher prices. <laughs> now that I think of it, uh, that guy might have been me. Who in the world bought dreams? No one. Really, that was where the plan fell short. Ah, but it was worth a try. There are always fools who spend money on any little nonsense. Say, Grandpa, you've seen a lot of things in your time, haven't you? <laughs> you can say that again. You can ask me whatever you, um, uh, whatever you can carry. 
What do you know about the Autumn Forest? Ah, the Autumn Forest is uh, it's an enchanted place full of mystery. Strange creatures dwell there, but, but not as many nowadays as in the past. <laughs> in ancient times, lots of diverse tribes lived there. Ah, when I was a child, half the valley was submerged underwater. Now, there's only that little lake with the island. That's all I can remember at the moment. That's not surprising. You'd even forget the color of your hair if you didn't look in the mirror regularly. <laughs> but I still know that it starts with a G. That doesn't count. You're just guessing. But I'm right. Why? Yes, um... See? Uh, that's, uh, that's all I need to know. Uh, please let it be green. Do you know anything about nightmares and visions? I know enough that I can't give a profound opinion about them. Only real oracles can interpret dreams. And they're the only ones that can tell you if it was a vision of some sort. I once thought I had a vision too, you know. Ah, yes, an angel appeared and told me that one day my pantaloons would save the world. <laughs> I was so excited. I went on pilgrimages, gathered disciples around me and performed services and all that without ever changing my pants. Finally, a, a, a gypsy told me that it had only been a nightmare. Oh, Ben, you can hardly imagine how embarrassed I was. Five years in a monastery simply because I had chili casserole before bedtime. <laughs> you know what? I'll just look it up myself. Yes, yes, yes. I might still seem quite bright in the head, <laughs> but sometimes the details get a little mixed up. See you later. Cheer up, Ben. Spot seems to be a little hungry. He's, um, very sad looking. Come on, Spot. I want to get out of here. Let's take a look around the autumn forest. Put him in the bucket of water to have All a drink, All right, Spot. Time to have a drink. <laughs> there you go. Ball spot. Learn the ball spot form. Can you tell me what's wrong with Spot? I gave him something to drink, like you said. I hope you didn't give him the water from the laundry tub. Heaven, Sadwick. It's full of starch. Who cares? Spot seems to be all right. Burp. Keep your hands off the laundry. You'll only soil them again. What does Grandpa say mm, you that? shouldn't let Spot have too much to drink. He'll get bladder trouble. Like you, Grandpa? He already looks rather bloated. Uh, yeah. Like you, Grandpa. And then you can go here and change him to a different form. No, you shouldn't let Spot eat so much grass. He already has a rather unhealthy complexion. Like you, Grandpa? Hmm. He'll start to gather moss. Uh, yeah. Like you, Grandpa. Oh. Alright, what's in this trailer? That's what Bruno is for. Grandpa's room. Ooh, there's teeth here. That's Grandpa's third pair already. The last two were eaten by Woodworm, and it's only a matter of time with these. I'm not putting those in my mouth, and neither <laughs> my size nor my taste. Why am I taking Grandpa's teeth? Yuck! I'm sorry, but I won't put that into my mouth. Not when there's the slightest possibility that Grandpa blew his nose on it. Yuck. Fever eyes. 
Grandpa uses them as cooking ingredients. He calls the dish eye candy. Ew. Grandpa says once you've gotten used to them, they're really tasty. What he doesn't say is how long it takes to get used to them. <laughs> Unreachable, like so many things. The blood of earthworms. The bottle is almost empty again. I'd rather not. The blood of the earthworms has to last throughout the winter. Last time, we had to replenish our supply. There was snow on the ground. It was hell. Hmm? Unreachable. Well, who would have thought? Those really are regular recipes. There goes my theory that Grandpa is preparing our meals from the fishing bait manual. Cooking is one of Grandpa's tasks, not mine. Not that I didn't offer to cook, but Ben objected. It's a sign of how low his esteem for me is. I mean, petroleum soup? Seriously. <sighs> petroleum soup? More recipes. Well, who would have thought? Those really are- There goes- Oh, wait, what did he say? Well, who- There goes my theory that Grandpa- oh, yeah. Grandpa's cooking is inspired more by enthusiasm than by real talent. Maybe we should spare him the trouble and just eat the cookbook. It would save time and effort. Grandpa's latest creation. Petroleum soup. Inflammatory on the stomach, highly flammable in general, and a hazard to all low-flying birds in the vicinity. Maybe I should make spot taste it first. Oh, oh make spot taste it. There yeah, they yeah. are, Spot. I'm just joking. Maybe. Ouch! Hot! Spot is not go- No matter how much Grandpa keeps- Spot- <laughs> Well, who would have thought? There goes- Grandpa has always had a soft spot for animals. Well, it's in the bra. Oh. <laughs> I'd rather leave him in there. It wouldn't be much fun to suck it through with a bottleneck for either of us. Smash it. Bruno sleeps almost all day. He has to drag our trailers through dark forests during the night. I bet he never has nightmares. On the other hand, maybe this world is his nightmare. Don't mess with Bruno, unlike you. He's already done his work for today. Bruno! What a shame, he's asleep. He's the only one in the family who listens to me. What about Spot? What, what was the shovel for? Where are you going? I want to look around the forest. Don't get lost. Don't worry. What the? <laughs> I could have told you that. You and your sense of orientation. Alright, so we can put Spot in this hole. Hmm, that could actually work. Hey, Spot, I need your help. We have to get this thing open. Do you think you can do that? All right, go for it. And then he gets stuck in there. Mm, that was none too bad. Dude. Say thank you, he did what you needed him to do. Hey, 
Isn't that Ben's casket? Though sinking out of the box may be a good idea, and talking into a box seems rather stupid. I wonder if that's the key to Ben's casket. It matches. The casket is open. The casket is open. Now I shouldn't get lost anymore. Is your I want to take a look around the autumn forest, but I keep getting lost. If, if, if you want to go for a walk, have you given Spot something to drink yet? Yes, Grandpa. All done and finished. Well, you've earned a little walk then. Ah, but be careful. The autumn forest is big and dense. Very, very, very much like my beard. You can very easily get lost in it. <laughs> Again, very much like my beard. I already noticed that. You'd better take my comb. I, I mean compass with you. Hmm, now where did I put it? Hmm, I know it's in the trailer. Under the bed. Great. Thanks, Grandpa. Under the bed, right? Yes, 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 yes. Under the bed. I like to take a pinch late at night. Take a pinch of the compass? Yes, I know. It's unhealthy. But at my age, well... <laughs> Are you sure you're talking about the compass? Don't you mean compote? Compote? What are you insinuating? Did you nose around my notes? Besides, if I planned anything like that, it would be none of your business. You must consider all the consequences of such a compote, you know. A compote with broad ramifications? Yes, so you better keep your nose out of it. Oh, Grandpa, you're talking about a complot. You're planning a complot. A complot? I have no idea what you're talking about. You don't need to plan a complot. I just made one not uh, ten minutes ago, right behind the trailer. That's compost. Impossible. I carry the compost with me all the time. The compost? Yes, <laughs> it's in my pocket. I'm pretty sure it is. Just a second. Here it is. Grandpa, that's not compost. That's the compass. Really? Then where's the compost? W would you mind checking under my bed? Sure. Just remind me again later, okay? Now, work, I'm Grandpa. taking a walk in the autumn forest. I'd be back for lunch, you hear? No, thanks. I really don't care for petroleum soup. W what's that? Oh, nothing really. Thanks, Grandpa. See you later. Cheer up, Ben. All right. I got a compass and a map. Oh dear, he's getting more and more difficult each day. Ah, he's still young. He hasn't found his responsibilities in the world yet. He should carry out his responsibilities to the circus first, before looking for new ones. Oh, by the way, I hate you, both of you. I just wanted to get that off my chest. Never mind me. Ben is in a bad mood today. Oh, shut up, Grandpa. Just be quiet, will you? The show? Yikes! There's somebody there. A stranger. I wonder what he's doing here. The water looks downright cloudy. No, wait. That's just a reflection of my face. Wait. Hmm. Hello. Ah! Oh, thank heaven. You're not an askew, obviously. I'm not a what? Oh, nothing. Everything's fine. At last, I've met someone. Are you from around these parts? No, we're just passing through with our circus. Damn, I thought it was too good to be true. 
Who are you? Why do you want to know? Are you one of the Askiel spies? Could be. Ah, uh, nonsense. <laughs> of course you're not an Askiel. I'm sorry. I'm just a little nervous. My name is Bobby. I've come from far away. Huh? Oh, yes. I am a Chusky. You know? And you are? I'm Shadwick. My family owns a small traveling circus. I understand. So, you're some kind of clown. We're in the performing arts trade. A clown, then. You don't look particularly happy, if I might say so. Do you want to... What? Are you mad? Do I look like I have time for that kind of nonsense? You just go back to your circus, Sonny. I have to deal with the important things in this world. So the big responsibilities of this world are up to you? Now that's unsettling. Yes, indeed. And neither elephants nor colorful balls can prevent me from carrying out my mission. Not even cheerful chimps with hilarious hats. You don't happen to have chimps in your circus, do you? No. No, <laughs> of course not. And even if you had, I wouldn't have been interested at all. For I am a Chasky, and nothing can stop me from carrying out my mission. Chasky? What does that mean? What? You don't know the Chasky? The word means messenger. We perform important tasks on behalf of the king. Chasky. Now I remember. Grandpa told me about you. But you can't be a Chusky. Oh yeah? Why not? Chusky, our noble messenger to Corona. Oh yeah? And where do you think I'm coming from? Well, you rather look like someone coming from a... <laughs> That's right. Directly from the royal court. You? From Corona? I don't believe you. You should. I am a Chusky. And I'm on a mission. On behalf of the king. Chusky, our brave heroes. <laughs> That's right. What do you think brought me here? I'm in the middle of a hair-raising adventure. The fate of the world lies in my hands. You're exaggerating. Not a bit. There have never been situations more desperate. I'd rather not go into details. You'd never be able to sleep at night if I did. Ha! Like that would make a difference. Chusky are skilled trackers. <laughs> Even though it may look that way, I'm not lost. I'm just not sure about where to go. That's all. Chusky are cheerful adventurers. Ha! That's good coming from you. Looking at you doesn't exactly fill me with joy either. I didn't sleep well. I suffer from nightmares. Nightmares, you say? Hmm. In fact... I don't really know much about the Chusky. Unfortunately, I haven't got the time to tell you about my daring adventures, which is a shame. They're full of suspense. Epic, too. And every now and again, there's a laugh or two included. Well, too bad. What exactly is your mission? Not that I'm really interested. Actually, it's a secret. But all right, I'll tell you. I'm carrying a precious and powerful artifact. The Whispering... The what? Whispering Stone. Blistering Bone? The Whispering Stone! Why don't you listen? How could I with you mumbling like that? My mission is to take it back to Corona, to the King's Castle. Whispering Stone? That doesn't sound very powerful. I don't know very much about it, but I do know that it's very important. Otherwise, the Royal Stones collection wouldn't be complete. It's not a joking matter. As far as I know, the king needs it to prevent the end of the world. And now I'm supposed to help you with your mission, right? <laughs> The clown wants to help a real Chasky with his mission. Now that's a good one. What? I'm sure I could be of some help. Impossible. I'm every bit as good as you. <laughs> At least you're a pretty good clown. Whatever. Okay, so do your stuff alone. Hey, hey! Take it easy. I understand that you're fascinated by my adventures. Ooh, yeah, well. But you simply don't know what you're getting involved with. The life of a Chasky is full of danger. You'll get yourself into big trouble. If you want to help me, you'll need to be a hundred percent certain. Did you say dangerous? Maybe I'm not the right person for the job after all. That's okay. Not everyone is born to be a hero, you know. I'm 100% certain, uh, sure. So, at least you've got guts. 
That's a good thing. But are you skillful enough to? In fact, I'm quite a clumsy fellow. In that case, you'd better forget it. As my right-hand man, you couldn't be all thumbs. Well, I'm just as skilled as you are. Didn't you claim otherwise just now? The bugs are very noisy around here. Y you must have misheard. Well, never mind. But I wonder whether you are optimistic enough. You strike me as being rather negative. Chasky are characterized by their incredible joyful nature, which gives us the energy to find a way out of even the most difficult situations. Are you really joyful enough? I don't see a reason to be joyful. Oh dear. Just like I suspected. I'm afraid you can't help me with a negative attitude like that. Too bad, actually. Of course. I'm a clown, after all. Didn't you claim otherwise just now? I think you're mistaken. I've got uh, crooked molars, I mumble sometimes. I see. Very well, then. It looks like you meet the necessary requirements. Great. You see, I'm really desperate, and time is running out. Don't get your hopes up. I'm not very good at things like this. Usually things get more complicated as soon as I try to help. Hmm... That doesn't sound either brave or joyful or skillful. Maybe I should put your abilities to a test first. A test? Yes. You could go and fetch me something to eat. A nice fish would just do the trick. What? I'm supposed to catch a fish for you? I wanted to help you with your mission. If I want to play the lackey, I might as well go back to my family. Hold your horses. First, you show me what you can do. I... Catching a fish for me. Then, I'll fill you in on my mission. Do you think you can do that? Can't you catch something yourself? Ah! Of course I could. I'm a Chasky, after all. But this is your assignment. Show me what you can do. Your assignment? Can't we just skip the fish part? No, Sadwick. I'm afraid not. I need to see what you're capable of before I can let you in on the path of the Chasky. The path of the Chasky. Good grief. I see great potential in you, but the mission is too important. I need to be sure that you have what it takes. Whatever. I can't make it. You can't give up just like that. A Chasky never gives up, Sadwick. I'm not a Chasky. And you will never be if you keep acting like that. Here's some advice. If you're having problems, just ask yourself, what? What Bobby do? Shit about doing nothing. Obviously, you still have a lot to learn. I'll manage somehow. I believe in you, Sadwick. Are the stories about Corona true? It depends. Which stories are you referring to? I heard that the king is dead. Oh, he's not dead, but he's very man. weak. I think the impending doom is getting to him. I heard Corona has fallen. Not yet, but the situation is growing more and more threatening. The Asgil have advanced up to the castle. The Asgil? Yes, a horrific strain of creatures. It's just a matter of time, I fear. I heard that the end is near. That's right, I'm afraid. The landscape around Corona has already started to fall apart. Like in my dream. You dreamed about that? Uh-oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Why do you say that? Oh, uh, no reason. Forget about it, will you? In fact... Well, not everything one hears. But the situation is... Do you think my dreams are trying to tell me something? My brother Ben says I shouldn't worry. Yes, listen to your brother. Keep on dreaming and pretend you never heard of the world's big problems. Yes, as if you never even met me. That's best for you. Just ignore the fact that the world is on the brink and we're all doomed. Aren't you exaggerating a bit? Oh, you think I'm exaggerating? It already started, Sadwick. The land is falling apart. The end is nigh. Like in my dream. That was your dream? Uh-oh. That's not good. That's not good at all. Why? They're only dreams. Only dreams? Only dreams, he says. What if it's not? What if it's a vision? A vision? You think so? I admit, it's not very likely in your case. Only important people have visions. Kings, oracles, and Chasky. Nevertheless, the thought is unsettling. See you later. Later.
I can't really catch fish with... I can't get near enough, but I'm too... That's wet already. Ugh. That's wet already. Ugh. Interesting. Did I miss something? There's a cork there. Oh, here. I'd better not rip I find enough ice. Grandpa uses the hand to catch his beard here. Maybe I could use the hairnet to catch a fish. I can't get near and I'm... Exciting. It's too big for a toothpick. Well, let's see. A measly dip net for a measly clown. There. That'll work. Hey, that actually worked. Looks like the clumsy little brother finally accomplished something. Hello, Bobby. Oh, it's you. Please don't scare me like that. Look, about this test... You're still not finished? My stomach is about to collapse. <sighs> I'll ma I believe... See you later. later. I've got it in my bag, dude. Come on. I Who knows if I'd ever be... A I did it. I caught a fish. Ooh, yum! That's the first good news I heard in months. Will you tell me about your mission then? Of course. I'm a man who keeps his promises. But be warned. Helping me will put you in great danger. The Asgil are hot on my trail. I shouldn't even be here anymore. Now please, don't exaggerate. Mm. You have no idea, have you? Well... Are you sure you want to get involved with this? We've been there already. I'm absolutely sure. All right, then. Well, have you ever heard of Shana? Shana? Isn't that the disease where your feet itch terribly? No. You're talking about athlete's foot. I'm talking about Shana. She's an oracle, a kind of clairvoyant. And according to the legend, she lives somewhere in the autumn forest. But maybe it's nothing more than that. Just a legend. I've already searched until I'm half dead. I'm going to cancel my quest. I mustn't stay here too long. I've got a bad feeling that the Asgill are hot on my trail. Say, about this... Sh yes? What do you want from Shana? Corona is far away. Without help... It will take months to get there. I'm hoping that Shana can give me some advice. There must be a way to shorten the trip. An oracle? Can she interpret dreams as well? Of course. In that case, I have to meet her too. Maybe my dreams do mean something after all. Hmm. You could come with me. Really? That'd be great. I'll finally find out the meaning of my dreams. Provided, of course, we can find her. 
Where shall I start looking for her? The only thing I know is that she's supposed to live in a cabin in the middle of the autumn forest. But where exactly? I have no idea. I came down from the hills in the east. There's a good view of the valley and the whole autumn forest from there. But a cabin? Not a trace. The only things remotely resembling buildings are those ruins to the west. But I've already been there. A couple of columns and statues, that's all. Then there's that cave near the mountains. And that finally leaves the forest itself. Maybe you could get a better overview from that giant tree to the south. I can chart those places on your map if you want me to. Well, at least that's a start. Enough of sh- As you wish. What else is on- See you later. Later. I hmm. I don't know how to climb the tree. Go through the ruins. A statue of a turtle. Why the artist chose this subject is something for the viewer to ponder. Turtles are mute. I kind of like that. A statue. Why the artist? There's an engraving on it reads, In memory of the mighty sea eyes. They watched over our world for millennia. They watched over us from numerous eyes. We brought them the green round fruit of the Fatalia tree as offering, and they rewarded us by bringing light into our lives. That's odd. Mason poetry. There's thick moss growing on the statue. Have I really sunk to a level where I'm thinking about eating moss? I won't be able to get the moss off with my bare hands. What? I don't think that'll happen. When I read the trailer of moss, I always... A damp cloth? Oh, I've got one of those. Yes, that... Hey, what have we here? There really was something it's beneath the moss. A recess next to a royal insignia. Hmm. Seems to be some kind of mechanism. I'd better tell Bobby. I'm sure he must have overlooked it. Oh, the damp cloth is gone. Alright, let's get back to Bobby. Bobby looks nervous. Sadwick! Shh! Did you see that just now? What? I think it's the Askiel. He found me! Boy, that's nonsense. You really are the biggest coward I ever met. But they're here. I know for sure. I need to get away as quickly as possible. Or we'll be lost if the Askiel get hold of the Whispering Stone. Please don't go yet. I discovered something in the ruins. Some kind of mechanism. A mechanism? I must have missed that. There was also a socket for a stone. A socket, you say? Was the royal insignia next to it? Yes. How did you know? Good grief, Sadwick. That must be the secret passage to Shanna's place. Unfortunately, though, it's locked tight. That's as may be. But we have the key. Those insignia locks used to be quite common throughout the whole kingdom. I'm sure the Whispering Stone will fit there. The Whispering Stone? Well then, what are we waiting for? Okay. I mean, no, wait. With all the excitement, I nearly forgot the Asgill. They mustn't find me at any cost. You can't be serious. But I am. I'd rather stay here. And give me the stone at least. I could go and talk to Shanna alone. What? Impossible. I can't give you the Whispering Stone. The fate of the world depends on it. What if you make a mistake? Why don't you come? No, I only ask you. In fact, I shouldn't hear. If you don't give me the... You cannot have the Whispering Stone. It was entrusted to me alone. I promised not to pass it. 
Maybe the whispering... I'd be more than surprised if it didn't. The insignia is a distinct... But you promised we'd go to Shauna. That may be right, but... Then give me the stone. We're virtually a team now. Or did I not help you before? Well, you did. And on top of that, I have those visions. I'm sure they mean something. It can't just be a coincidence. Come on, give me the stone and I'll find Shauna. I'd be surprised if the Askill found you here that quickly. <sighs> I know this is a mistake, but... All right, I will entrust the Whispering Stone to you. Thank you. You won't be sorry. Please, hurry, Sadwick, and guard that stone jealously. If something happens to it, we're all done for. Nothing's gonna happen to the stone, right? I knew it! It matches! Hey! What's happening? Uh, an earthquake! Stop it, Spot! Spot! What? What did you do now? Oh dear, oh dear. I'd better tell Bobby. What was that? Back to the, like... Bobby? Bobby? Hey! What happened here? Looks like there was some kind of fight. The Asker got Bobby. Oh dear. It's all my fault. I forgot to look at them. Uh-oh. Obviously the Asker were heavily armed. And I thought Bobby was just exaggerating. Yeah. I hope he's alright. I must be crazy to lug these things around with me. <laughs> no, Dad. We want this. He's had enough already. He's had enough already. Nothing else left here? There's a leg. Alright. Can I use the knife here? There we go. Ha! I knew it! There's an overgrown path leading deeper into the valley. Shana, I'm coming. Come on, Spot. Don't hang behind. Don't hang behind. Hey, who do we have here? What? Where? I don't see anything. There's a guy wearing a clown's costume. Huh? <laughs> don't try to pull my leg again. You know darn well I can't turn around. Who are you? Who wear rocks? Oh, is that so? Yeah, and the guy behind me is Ingo. He's my half-brother. Hey! Yeah, but we're two. And brother divided by two equals a half-brother. You sure about that? Of course. But I can check it again on my slide rule if you want me to. That'd be great. <laughs> yep, half-brother's all right. Although I got more brains and you got more rock. Your slide rule tells you all that? Yep, 
It's right here. Man, I'd love to take a look at it myself. Too bad I can't turn around. So what do rocks do for kicks all day long? What do you think we're doing? We do what most rocks do for kicks. We lie about and enjoy our simple lives. Which in Ingo's case is particularly simple. That sounds almost as boring as working in the circus. Why boring? We lie about enjoying the sun and don't get into harm's way. And we don't have any secret plans whatsoever, such as enslaving the world or anything like that. Ingo! What? That's enough! What did I do this time? You can't even keep the slightest thing to yourself. I didn't say anything, did I? I didn't say anything. It won't happen again. How could I have known there's a princess in that cage? Man, I'm really fed up with your excuses. But you know very well that we need an accomplice for our plan. One with legs. But not such a greenhorn. Just for your information, I'm not a greenhorn. See? He's not a greenhorn. Of course he is. An exceptional greenhorn. All pets are greenhorns to you. Hey, Ingo, what's that over there? <laughs> what? Where? Looks like a lush meadow or a big tree frog. It's hard to say. It's shining so green. Come on. What is it? Hold on. I think it's... It's a... Yes, that's right. It's his horn! Are you finished yet? I plan to get a good share of abuse from other objects, too. A root, maybe. A heap of leaves. Oh, you want to disagree, huh? You don't like being called a greenhorn. Oh, wow. You've read my mind. After all, the opinions of two rocks lying at the side of the road are of greatest importance to me. You could try to convince us otherwise. I'd be surprised if he could. We should at least give him a chance, Ralph. All right. I'll ask him the questions. Even though I'm sure he'll make a fool of himself. We'll see. Of course we will. He probably even thinks Shana is a mystical snake creature. But Ralph, Shana is a mystical snake creature. Nonsense. Shana's a bird, of course. You are wrong. Possibly. But I'm interested in what our Greenhorn thinks. Now then, who is Shana? I haven't got the f- That proves it. I always- Shall I carry you someplace else for a change? Don't even think about it. We're not being pushed around by anyone. Well, I wouldn't mind being rotated a bit. I've been staring at that same rock over there for ages. Have you lost the little that's left of your dignity? We are rocks. We don't need any help. <laughs> but Ralph, that rock looks like a cow's behind. And that's not all. I've been lying on this pointed stick for years. I may be a rock, but I have feelings too, you know. We don't let ourselves be carried around, and that's that. Any idea where I could find Shana? Shana? She lives in that cabin over there. Uh, uh Ralph? Man, will she be pleased? Ralph? Uh, I think... She hasn't had any visitors for years. Hold on. What cabin? There's only a door. What? That's nonsense. No, Ralph. He's right. Shanna's cabin is in ruins. Has been for a long time. But how did that happen? Remember that storm? Eight years, three months, and... Sure. I'm a rock. I never forget anything. In that case, you'll also remember the earthquake the next day. Of course. That was the day my termite ranch was destroyed. Damn erosion. So the cabin fell victim to the earthquake? No! Termites! I should have known. Does that mean Shana doesn't live here anymore? Oh no! She still lives here! She does? Yeah! In the cabin? Yeah! Of which only the door still remains. Now you get it! Oh my, I'm getting that headache again. Back to your plan. You didn't tell anyone. I've been as mute as a- Hey! Why don't try to make fun of us or you'll f- What would you do? Stone me? Let's not argue. We must con- And- How do you think? We right. Just for your in- We'll see! Of course. He probably- But wrong! Nonsense! You are wrong! Possibly. Now then. Shana- So that's what you think, huh? <laughs> yeah! How many eyes? <laughs> that? You're an idiot, ain't I haven't got nine eyes. The answer is... No, it's our greenhorn. Now then. 
11. You heard him up. <laughs> All right, don't question is. I know. She lives in rubbish. Kalita lives on a. You think so? What I think is a clown's now then. In the middle. Lemmy, you're not. I always believed in you. Didn't I tell you? All right, all right. Here. Take the stone powder. And use it to extend our sphere of power. See <laughs> 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 you later. Yeah. We're not going in. Where did these two get it from? I'm not that desperate yet. Yeah, I don't know what to do with that. I've never gotten that before. I like this bit though. Well, that won't work, I can assure you. What's he trying to do? <laughs> he tried to enter the cabin the regular way. <laughs> what a greenhorn. What a green horn. Huh? Where did I end up now? How is that possible? Shana? Oh, there's a note here. Oh, there was no... Oh. It would take hours. I'll just read that one. These guys outside tell me what time it is. Hello, you two. Inko, look, clown. How would I? I've been in. Why? I have no idea. <laughs> What's that? What a great. Oh, come on. Supposed to know what? You can only meet her at sir. At half past noon. Rubbish. Uh, but but something's nothing's happening. The only thing that might happen at half past. And when will she? In order to discover that, you'd better wait until half past noon, don't you think? I hate you. When can I meet Shana? Definite. Right. And why so imp? Why don't you? How typical. See you later. Yeah. Oh, We're not. Man. That's what I did, isn't it? It shines directly under this note. Could that be a coincidence? Now the light shines under this note. Do a sleeping giant a favor. But Do a sleeping giant a favor. Anyway, guys. That's all we've got time for today. This is where I've gotten up to before. I don't think I've gotten any further. I've been to the other three areas. But I don't think I've done anything significant there. So we'll have to pick this up next time. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, subscribe, follow. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.